Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Sword Hero. Yep, we're trying it. Choose your desired starting difficulty. Intended difficulty get progressively stronger as you set off to overcome the unsurmountable. So, uh, God, there's so much genre bleed these days. I'm not even sure what this is. It is a roguelike. Okay, I saw the trailer and it looked really cool. Oh. Have we gone for deliberately crusty um, pre-rendered cutscenes? Because that's actually pretty good. No way of recording them. I cannot really hear what he's saying. Uh, getting close to skipping. I, uh, I can't, I can't stop it. Oh, sorry. Generating encounter. Yeah, let's do that. Sorry, I, I'm doing so many demos. I can't. I, I am. My life is only so long before I have to start skipping introductions for, uh, for some of these games. What the hell was that noise? <laughs> I got it. I, uh, it's, I, <laughs> you know, talk about Gorm. This guy's got some Gorm going on. Whatever it was, I hope it lands on your head. Shut your trap, boy. The behavior is exactly why the hand demanded your execution. The hand that takes, yeah. Do you talk with the st stalactites too? And to think that's what I once I call that I once called you son. I'll go see what that ruckus is. Do me a favor and die by the time I get back. Wow. I can't believe this. What the hell is the hand that takes anyway? No one knows for sure. It might even be a literal severed hand. These barbarians would still follow it. Ah, who was that? Did my father send you to torment me? Your father is powerful, but no man has power over me. I have been looking for you many years now. No, I'm quite sure you are mistaken. I'm just an ordinary... Uh, uh, I'm just an... Was an altered candidate. I don't make mistakes, mortal. Here, read the word on my forearm. Thrall, it can't be. But how? Who are you? Demon! <laughs> Call me demon. I have come to you with a proposition. <laughs> no way, that demon? So you really exist? I thought the old folks were gone crazy. Right, you may have heard stories. <laughs> Yo, I, I might be, I might be losing my mind here. You may have heard stories. Those atrocities I committed are in the past. I had all my memories erased by some sort of curse. It, couldn't have been just time itself. 25 years ago, our na your name started glowing on my forearm and a single but very m vivid memory came to be. Your face and your voice, albeit older than now. Okay, this is a bit fast for me. A few minutes ago, I thought you were just another tormentor. What makes you think I could help you? Hear my offer. I'll give you this, an Enigma core. Using it, I can transfer a fraction of my powers to you. It will also enable you to slip into an alternate reality if your life would end up in grave danger. Uh-huh. I won't pretend that I know what that means. You'll be invincible in your perspective, allowing you to take revenge on your father, at least. How long have you been spying on me? Enough to know that you despise him and the altered with all your being. In exchange for my gift, I want you to seek out the elves. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Who may finally shed some light on our connection. Beats being fried to a crisp by a golem. I'm in. When do we start? Now here's my old sword. A shield stone and an amulet. Now listen close. So here we go. This is this is the game. We can move around. But the main thing is we've got the sword. 
kind of gives, gives me um, Hammerfall vibes. Remember that game? I did a video on my channel. You should check it out if this looks at all appealing because it really reminds me of that. Hold shift to j dash, press space to jump. And there we go. We can swing a hand, uh, our sword around. Whew, this is incredible. I feel like I'm weightless. And these swords. Hey, where are you? Can you hear me? I can hear you. There's no need to shout. Uh, where are you? Are you invisible? It's better if you don't know it. Besides, I can't keep them all about it. Where is he? Where is he though? Is he is he somewhere? Is he is he in a crevice? Hope you know how to take a life or a hundred. Wait, what? A demon? Deal damage using your sword, parry using shield stone, and cast spells using your amulet. Your sword controls the debuff you deal, plus the moves and damage of your AoE attacks and dashing attacks as well as your basic flail attack you use to uh, destroy the console. Shield stones determine your parry abilities and damage. An amulet determines your spells and damage of your debuffs and hazards like floor spikes. Okay. Separate damage stats for their perspective, respective abilities. Also among its element, each sword, shield stone, and amulet possesses a unique passive. All three passives of your equipped gear are active at all times. You can view a breakdown of these. Ex okay. I would like to start swinging a big old sword and break stuff, please. And if you don't mind, could you throw some demons at me so I can murder them? Oh, no, no, de no demons. Just humans, I guess. Okay. Well, I guess I'll be a bad guy this time. I don't mind. As long as I get to swing a sword around and smash stuff. Jump up and use this strike while in air to above enemy. What? Uh, oh, I see. So we can use the click to smack. We need to make two more kills. I'm kind of like really grateful they didn't make this a, another survivor game because that would have been very tempting. You can drink a potion during your encounters to heal yourself. There are other ways to refill your health too. You can increase the number of charges for your potion in the camp using sparks. You can also increase the effectiveness of your potions temporarily by mixing ingredients. Okay. Honestly, I just want to smack some fools. Listen, I'm here for two things. To smack some fools. Hold the strike button until the circle appears. Green. Aim on an enemy. Ooh. Okay, so this game's not just swinging about about not not just about swinging your sword, it's also about striking some fools in the face. Clash, clash. <laughs> some of the sound effects <laughs> make it sound like two nerds like slap fighting. While running towards an enemy's dash through them. Oh no. Ouch. Press the parry button before a projectile or melee attack would hit you. I can't stand parry mechanics. I, I really, I don't, I don't, I'm not about it. I'm not about it. I'm not good at parrying and I don't want to learn. You can't force me to learn. All right, I guess I'm learning. I guess I'm learning. Okay, fine. Fine, I'll learn, I suppose. Wee. Yeah, I mean, this is, uh, this is exactly as fun as I was hoping it would be. Swing, swing, slash, murder that man. They've got a family. Their family is now distraught. There are additional, less apparent combat features as well. Fall damage, enemies you knock off, the ledges will die instantly. These enemies won't drop items. Elites, en elite enemies cannot be knocked off. Wall damage, enemies uh, knocked into walls suffer damage equal to your condition damage. Environmental hazards, other combat elements will emerge as the game progresses. I'm cool. Yo, I'm, I'm cool. Select a temporary stat upgrade. Oh, yo, is this a vampire survivor like? Amulet mastery. Extra damage for spells, conditional debuffs, and environmental hazards. Extra from parrying. Sure, fine. We'll take extra for parrying. I'll become a complete and total hypocrite. Press F to continue your journey. Okay. 
We do have levels. All right, here we go. Here's that pathway I keep complaining about, but I keep playing games that have it. <laughs> the ingredient containing boxes have been moved away from this node. Two connected reward nodes. Okay. Sorry, I'm being very snide, possibly snarky, but I mean, for the most part, I am. I'm actually really enjoying this. This is exactly what I was hoping for. It's fun. If it's not fun, why bother, you know? I like the way they've done the god raids. Well, there's a lot of lads, though. You could get very good at this combat. I will say the parry is done very well in this game. I, 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 the fact that I can parry in this game tells me that it's, it's, it's been done very well. Or maybe it's just easier. I don't know. I'm willing to, it, you know, accept that. Parry him. Let him taste his own blood. That was probably graphic. Parry that arrow. Parry everything. Kill that man. Uh, how do how does one use a potion? They they said I could use a potion, but they didn't really tell me how. Or if they did tell me how, I don't remember. Q? There we go. Q. Let's use another one? No. One kills. How many kills more remaining? 20. So, I mean, um, you know, it's an arena horde survival-ish game, but that doesn't mean it's a survival-like. I, I, you know, I want to give it, like, I, I think it's better than just, like, another survival like i think that i am i guess i am a little bit disappointed that it's just kind of a arena game i was hoping for maybe a, a bit more structure to these levels than just like kill a bunch of guys but that being said they've they've come up with a very novel and fun combat system so at least it's got something to offer you know shields mast Evasion. Uh, I like that knockback idea. Let's do that. We got a new item. Blacksmith. Temporarily upgrade your gear using the essence you have. What do you mean? What is this temporarily business? What? Temporarily is worse than nothing. Hello, is anyone home? I heard hammer strikes and by the divine, what is that? Do not be afraid, thrall. And it knows my name. Refer to me as a greensmith, my master. Demon instructed me to meet you here and now. And now I know, I know looks can be deceiving, but I can assure you I am not an undead. Oh, that's reassuring, though I can't help but ask. Why am I green? No one knows. My memory was wiped, likely around the same time as Master Demon's. But I digress. I was instructed to forge essence into your gear to make it temporarily stronger. No, no, no. Why are you a skeleton, man? Some of these fumes are toxic to humans, but it shouldn't matter to you. Extra health and defense. Defense, defense, defense. Um, can we upgrade the flail damage? Yeah, we can. I don't really know what I just spent to do that. I don't see, like, currency anywhere on the screen. Unless it's all gone. <laughs> Uh, I guess I spent all my money. Okay. Well, shucks. That is just a straight bummer, dude. Two connected reward nodes. Let's do that. Oh, we can't do that. Okay, I could barely... I, I actually couldn't see those pathways on the ground there. But they are there. Hey, yo, I'm just gonna keep saying this forever, but I, I do wish that people would come up with a bit more of a novel level select than just that road pathway system like every game it's it's just every game so i am 
murdering folks, I'll tell you what. And I'm enjoying myself right now. Parrying. Destroy them. Destroy them. Yeah, I mean, parrying, they'll probably nerf parrying. They'll make it more hard. Because, you know, the way I see it right now is like, if I can do it, that means it's too easy. I just, that's always how it is, you know? Now, that being said, I, I, I think it's really fun right now. I would like it to be this easy, you know, forever. But uh, still, <laughs> I just don't see it see staying this way. It just almost seems like, um, I don't know. I feel like I shouldn't be having this easy of a time, all I'm saying. And I, I say that with love because I, I, I think games are too difficult sometimes. I honestly would, I would like someone to make just a game with depth, but like, oh, I'm taking damage now. Um, but like, it isn't just difficulty. Like, I don't think a depth should have to mean difficulty every time. I know that's maybe that's controversial. I think that like Animal Crossing games like Animal Crossing really show that cookie clicker. I think people are hungry for games that don't take a lifetime to learn, but also have a lot of depth to them. I should really dash more. I might die. I just have to kill six more foes. Okay, one more. There we go. I only have 40 health left, but we did it. Let's increase our deflection. Maybe that's why it's being so easy right now is because I'm actually increasing my def deflection. You can view your current stats, dye your armor, and equip new gear and swords. For further elaboration on stats, however, over... Okay. Well, I don't know what else it would change. Can I actually wear this stuff? Oh, I had, like, armor and stuff I could have been wearing. Oh, oops. Oopsie. Oh, well. <laughs> I don't know when I got this stuff. But, um, I've got it. Well, we can sit at the campfire, so not all is lost. Maybe we can recover our health points here. I wish that alarm would stop. Rest and heal completely. Nice! Alright, continue. Now that I'm fully healed and I have armor... Nothing can stop me, honestly. Some enemies carry shields. These shields can stop swords if hit directly. Either use a different attack or aim for the unshielded area. Okay. Knocked him right off. I guess uh, they did mention that people drop stuff. Wee. This is uh, this game is really fun. I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm enjoying it. Maybe it'll get old. Yo, I took some damage, but honestly. I'm having a I'm having a great time. Okay, I'm taking a lot of damage now. Oh, yo, they're getting they're getting nasty. Okay, I might die. Oh, 
good. Please die. Not me. When? How come I don't have any more potions? You need to hold the straight button until it's green. I know. Okay, there's 19 foes left. I took a lot of damage. I got really cocky, didn't I? Okay, good, good stuff. All right, all right. Um, there's a dude over here. I should really do some more dashing. I feel like dashing would have uh, probably saved me some health. I could do more. I see there's a, a sphere on the left side there. It might be that um, if I could dash more often, more times in a row, then I would have um, saved a little bit of health. Yo! Oh, that was close. Okay. Knockback, shield mask. Let's take some more knockback. Do I have any more items? Any new items? I do, actually. It's three defense. This is ten defense. It's obvious what I should take there. I have ingredients. On the screen, you can keep track of your ingredients used to temporarily empower your potions in the alchemy menu of the camp. Oh, look at that. Look at all my ingredients. I have none. Can I uh, get anything from those crystals? Apparently I can, actually. You can just, like, hang around and pick some stuff up. Oh, interesting. You can blow up those TNTs. I'm just I'm just hanging out. I want to see if there's anything I can pick up from around here. Wouldn't it suck if I uh, fell? Okay, let's. Let's move. What do I have in my inventory? Do I have something new? No, I don't. I don't have any spells. I want some spells. Uh, legendary armor piece waiting for a worthy owner. Well, I would love to take that, but the campsite is the only way we're going to continue living here. All right, we're actually getting some more tier two plus enemies altered squad led by a group of golems their most dangerous weapons uh or tier two enemies anyway altered here are driven by zeal for the hand that takes increasing their damage by 20 percent i mean let's we could take vestige perks but actually i'm starting to feel the the cold hand of death if i'm not careful Yeah, I'm liking uh, the format of this. It is an arena game, but it's it's a good one. And um, I appreciate that it's level based. I appreciate that it doesn't interrupt the gameplay with like a thousand upgrades. I appreciate that it's not super uh, flash. Oh, that was bad. Super flashy. So, you know, like I have, I can actually think about stuff. There's a lot going on for sure. But, um, you know, I don't, I really don't feel like overwhelmed. What is this? It looks like something. There's like a big old hand there.
Those uh, parrying arrows really seem to do a lot of damage. We can just we can just push lads off the edge. No need to risk our life at all, honestly. This uh this level seemed a lot easier in comparison to the last one. Oh, this is where everyone is. Nice. I still, I took a lot of damage, but hey, extra damage for all sword attacks. Well, this is working out for me. And again, I'm going to go to the campsite. I just feel like survival, survivability is going to do it for me. Huh? Oh, approach the campsite. So I feel, are we going to get to a new area? Or a boss? Synchronize your Enigma core. Ah, fresh air at last. And the sky, beautiful today. Huh? Demon, why is the core glowing like that? Perfect, we are on the right track then. That's not gonna explode, right? I finally can see the sky. No, human, it won't explode. It is synchronized to other versions of itself. That means that most realities converge here. Uh-huh. Uh, if this inter iteration of you dies, you will be able to regain consciousness right here from now on. Ah, oh, that's more like it. This is great news, especially because we'll be entering altered lands now. Exactly, we should expect heavy resistance here, and we are yet to cross paths with your father. Of course, he will not uh, now regret tormenting me my entire life. Continue. I'm assuming the demo's gonna end here. It just feels like the kind of place the demo would end. Oh no. Wow, we got a very different landscape now. Ancient ruins, 100% swamp. We'll go there for maximum choice. The outdoors. I really do like the look of this game. I appreciate this look a lot. fight with everyone I really got to be a bit more careful about how many things I fight at once hey I jumped over that guy what the heck bud I mean, it just, it just feels badass. Like, the whole game feels badass. Even when you're, like, taking damage, I'm still, like, completely whooping butt. Twenty-four enemies left to kill. Oh, I was trying to time that just right. Oh god, there's a lot of them over there. You can kind of like strike behind these guys. Yeah, I, I appreciate that like semicircle there to show us where the shield is actually protecting them. But these guys can like aim up. You You can't actually really jump over arrows. Same with those guys, honestly. The dashing guys can like dash at an angle. 
So you're not you're not fooling anyone by trying to By trying to jump over their dash unless you get it like I guess just perfectly right I suppose There we go. Well, I still took a lot of damage there Every fourth point enables you to dodge one extra con consecutive time Oh, okay. Dodge actually might seem really might be a really good idea. Do we get some new equipment? Did we get some better pants? No, we didn't. Shucks. Okay, let's uh, exit. Um, exchange your surplus essence or precious sparks here so you don't lose them if the worst happens okay yeah let's do that i sense my death pretty soon and we just got to this new land which apparently we can get to whenever we want Ten thousand essence we can do this twice so we did it for two sparks You've earned your first spark. Sparks are used to unlock permanent upgrades that are carried over between runs, such as perks, stats, etc. You'll be able to spend your per sparks once you arrive at your camp. Okay. Let's do, uh, like a tough one with some elites, just to see what that looks like. I, I honestly believe I can make do this. I, I just need to Oh, what do you mean frogs? What do you mean frogs? You can parry their bubbles back at them So this is a This is the, the new bad the elite bad Yeah, if you're a bit more methodical, oops, I tried to parry that, didn't work out. If you're a bit more methodical, then um, you can uh, you can do pretty well without taking too much damage. I want to make get that guy out of the way. Ooh. Get get the get the frog out of here. Get out of here, frog. Oh, that's a that, that guy that frog's alive You can't uh, you can't knock elites off off the edge. I remember that they did they, they did teach me that Oh, did that piece of armor just fall off the ledge? I think they gave it to me anyway I hate those guys that dash around. They're my worst nightmare, honestly. These guys are fine. They're easy to deal with. You can kind of exploit them off the edge there. Parry. Parry him. I think I'm doing all right. Oh, that guy almost took me out just now. Seven enemies left. I should be able to do this. You notice I've been uh, swinging my sword around a lot less. I'm actually getting kind of like not terrible at this. I'm starting to figure out what works. What works better anyway. There we go. I'm alive. So choose a vestige. Fully heal after buying this item. <laughs> okay. Chakram spins slowly around you, dealing damage are equal to your flail stat. You get 10% condition damage for each vestige you own currently. Not very useful to us. Yeah, I, I guess fully heal. That seems to be what I'm all about. Um, extra damage for all sword attacks. More health. Sucks that it doesn't give us full health, actually. But hey, for the first time, we can actually pick something like not the camp. So I guess that vestige is actually pretty decent. 
New weapon received. Spell damage one, environment damage two. Passive attack support, critical hits drop essence. Grants you access to freezing spells. Yes. Give me that. Another gift left behind fire. Perfect as all the others. Even its imperfections are perfect. Okay. Jeez. New item. Let's uh, equip that. Also, it seems like we've got some new pieces. I, I do like that it just tells you straight up that some pieces are better. This one offers more dodge. This one offers more health. So uh, that's why these items don't have an arrow on them is because you, though they might have less defense, they actually offer some other perks. Interesting. I want to I wanna cast ice spells. I want to know what that is like. Yeah, this game is uh, is legit. I'm, I'm, it's, it lived up exactly perfectly to expectations. For me, anyway. Okay, so how does one do an ice spell? Goodbye. Oh, he got me. He, he boromeared me. I don't... Oh, these dashing guys suck. That is a lot of damage I just took right now. Alright, let's see. Are these dashing guys... No, get out of here, bud. Get out of here. You suck. Oh, did he die from falling over the edge? Oh, no! That guy hurt a lot. This guy's got, like, armor and stuff. Oh, God, what is that? What is that? I, I sense my demise very soon. I'm dead. Your fate is left unfulfilled. One spark plus upgrade core. Abandon reality. Alright, let's have a, look, a quick look at the meta progression and then I'm going to call it for this. No, I, I'm fine. Yes, and no, that version of you died a horrible death. Your consciousness got saved by the Enigma core, along with the non-magical items you carried. It's a roguelike. I, uh, you know, I kind of agree with the sentiment. It's like, don't, you don't have to explain it. It's fine. I mean, I, no, no, I guess it's, you know, there's no reason you can't or shouldn't add flavor to your game. But at the same time, it's like, if you're explaining roguelike mechanics with lore, then it just kind of, kind of comes across as like reinventing the wheel in a way. We're technically inside the core right now, but how, when, then where is the core? It is hard to say. The divine was a being infinitely more complex than us from our perspective it is everywhere all at once all the time and the next time you decide to exist physically the core will place your consciousness into another reality where you already possess everything you have had when your previous iteration died oh oh god this i don't feel good you failed to mention this in your uh, your offer the idea of leaving behind multiple realities is irrelevant to us moment by moment we change anyways it is perfectly normal to be confused now we have beds here. Go and take a rest. After you wake up, reintroduce yourself to the others. I've instructed them to assist you in any way. The others? Divine, help me. Just have a rest. Okay, so... Here we got three sparks to spend. Whoa, what a strong, a strong odor. He has smelted dealt it. Ahaha, <laughs> what? No, I meant the herbs. Ah, uh, I know, kid. I'm just pulling your leg, Shrek. Sorry, not sure. <laughs> Glad to have you with us. I'm Thrall, so you are the alchemist of the group? Alchemist. I, I might start skipping the dialogue because I, like, I really just want to see what's up. You can increase the amount of charges your potion has in every run by spending sparks in this menu. You can also temporarily increase the effectiveness of your potion. So, uh, is this just gonna, like, make my potions straight up better, or give me more of them? I currently have one potion charges per run. So 
I spent two sparks and now I have what? Two potion charges per run. I really like the potion didn't help that much to be honest because I, I really only had like the one potion for the entire run. That seems highly unhelpful. <laughs> Presume demon sent you to introduce yourself. That's right. They're all nice to meet you. Is your armor of divine origin by any chance? Okay, again, I'm gonna start skipping this because I really just want to see the systems and they're like Taking a lot of extra time to to kind of explain where these or you know systems are coming from Spend your perk canisters which are acquired by defeating bosses Every perk is unique. They either confer a new spell type or a new. Yeah, I never got to cast an ice spell that kind of felt bad, honestly. So, projectile. Single projectile that behaves differently based on the element of your amulet. Oh, I see. So, I, the reason it couldn't cast the spell is maybe because I didn't unlock any of this. But now I can. Move significantly faster after moving uninterrupted for a while. Trees and buildings have a chance to drop gear when destroyed. Once per run, when your health goes below 10%, time slows for 5 seconds. I don't know what we need to get these. I, I guess we need. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't know. I'm sure they 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 explained. It seems to me I needed to uh, acquire something from a boss, so maybe I'll get the other ones by progressing through the game. What I'm about to show you is extremely important. This machine here is capable of interfacing with the Enigma cores. You can improve the capacity of your core, allowing greater quantities of essence to be transmuted by it. Do you understand? Of course, no. Of course not. Here you can spend sparks to increase the capacity of your Enigma core. At each level you convert 10,000 more essence into sparks. When you have to abandon a reality due to your health reaching zero. It is recommended to invest in your core early to maximize your... Right, so... I haven't really seen this too many times. What we're saying here is that by spending our meta progression on the Enigma core will ensure that all of the... All of the... Um, currency we've acquired on our run is actually going towards meta progression i don't get it i i you know i i kind of i kind of wish we would stop banking on this mechanic it seems like every game needs to have it but it's fine whatever so it's the, the the norm now warmonger we're talking to warmonger warmonger calm down melovi thrall is part of our group now I don't mean to cause a scene. My task is to see this machine. Using it, we can amplify your natural abilities. You can spend sparks to increase your stats permanently. Yeah, I mean, this is always my main complaint. TBH. And then what's our last form? Um, I'm just wondering, like, I, I keep hoping one of these games do something kind of novel with meta progression, and I keep being disappointed. Can you offer your unneeded equipment to Camden, who will give you spark for every 1,000 value gear? Uh, interesting. So, I don't think I have any. Can I get? I can give them to him anyway. So maybe if I get to a thousand, yeah, he gives me one spark. Okay, I mean, that's something. So now I have two sparks. I can spend it on my core. So now I'll. It'll convert three thirty thousand essence into, you know, goodies. And uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for me. I mean, despite my m misgivings with um, meta progression, as they all will always remain till the end of time, um, I actually really like this game. I think this this one's really fun. The combat's really novel, unique, and uh, it's got something new to offer to the genre uh, that I haven't seen a, a lot of times before. I really do appreciate how kind of snappy it is. It, it feels good, it looks good. It's very readable. Um, I could actually even see myself playing more of this. Um, so, you know, color me surprised. Well, not that surprised, it looked good. I, 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 it looked very promising. So, this is Sword Hero. Um, if you've played this, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think of it and consider hitting the like button and subscribing if you're new to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.